You know, life is so short with glorious images and horror as well. I wanted to see it all. So I moved out of my comfort zone. It was essential to me, otherwise I may have died. So I broke every rule in the book, not out of malice or to tell people how they should live. But I did it to show myself. And I looked in the mirror and I said, I'm going to show you one day. into my 2014 Toyota RAV4 and then I started to produce income remotely so I can replace my income that was stationary and now I feel limitless but you can't guess what I'm doing right now that's right I'm doing a ride for ride local and then I have two deliveries are scheduled so that's how easy it is to make money it's just uh, something that you end up building on your own platform and you determine how much you want to make each week and how much you want to work. On my apps and stuff to see how busy it is in the rideshare market. And I thought to myself, well, I have income coming in other ways and things are really going good all way in all different areas. So I was going to take it a little easier today, enjoy the day, and then uh, maybe do some uh, maybe a little bit later. I'll, I'll, I kind of... Uh, based it on the amount of income that come in that week. So if I had good uh, income that came in through Green Code 2 or in other sources like delivery sources, because I did some catering this week as well. So I, I got a bonus this week as far as income. I guess I could do it, uh, continue to work and work like a hog, but I've decided not to do that. I don't want it to control me. I want to make enough money to pay the bills and then some because the plus side is where you get security because you can put the money away and then it, you know save it for a rainy day whether it be tires or something else it's most of my expenses happens to do within the vehicle itself because I live in the vehicle now some people have asked me and I kind of thought this too because if someone told me they were living in a vehicle the first thing I would think about is man that's you know they got got to be dirty it's got to smell so what I have done is one of the things that I knew there were problems that people faced while they were living in a vehicle or an RV or a trailer or a van. One of the things is, is the smell of dirty clothes or whatever, or the smell of living quarters. We, we smell that when we go in homes and go into people's bedrooms. Sometimes we can smell that. I didn't want that in my vehicle. So I eliminated it because I make sure I clean everything. I take my shower somewhere else. I never store dirty clothes in my vehicle. There always in my back uh, I have a little back uh, place in the back of my vehicle which I can put things in and lie and it's locked and secured so I store it in there and when I take it out of there I go do my laundry uh, another thing I do is I'm constantly cleaning inside my vehicle so I'm all, always cleaning my bedding I'm always uh, cleaning areas in my vehicle because I don't want that uh, so in a lot of other things I do like the shower and the bathroom I don't do I don't have to do it anywhere it's all done out off you know in porcelain toilets and so on I do have an emergency uh, uh, porta potty you know uh, in case there was emergency I had to do it and uh, I guess I had to do it never had never came to that position right now I use that more as emergency in case it ever has but most of my time I go into a porcelain toilet uh, whether in a gas station I try to I want to go into clean areas so if I go into a gas station and their bathrooms are dirty obviously I don't choose to use that gas station as my morning stop for coffee and and brushing my teeth and uh, just cleaning up and going to the bathroom first thing in the morning. Uh, 
So I try to look for a location, and every city's different. So in Yuma, I do have a location because I, you know, going through that city. This city here, there's a couple of them I have in Grand Rapids, uh, but there's a lot of them that I don't ever visit because their bathrooms are dirty. Uh, so I generally participate by going in places that are clean. So I believe that uh, voting doesn't happen every four years when we vote for a political office. I think voting happens every day when we make purchases. So I, my purchases matter to me on who I purchase it with because that's my vote. So if I'm not, I disagree with something maybe the business does or things they're doing, I won't spend my money there. So my vote isn't there. Uh, and that's really, I think, how we can impact the world is not necessarily at the ballot, but every day that we live. Some people said, well, the only time I can affect it is at the ballot. No, that's not true. I believe every day you go out every day and when you make your purchases, you're literally voting. So if I go to a place, and I'll give an example, I'll give an example, McDonald's would be a good example. Ray Kroc, he stole it from the McDonald's brother. Everybody knows the founder, which was a movie, if you watch that, everybody knows that. Now it's how you stand on it. Do I go and buy from McDonald's and then feed into that? Or do I make a stand and say, okay, no, I vote that that wasn't a good deal. So if I have any choices to not go to McDonald's, I'm gonna go somewhere else. And that's how I make my votes every day. And I think more of us do that, the more we can impact society, we impact the world as a whole. But I don't live in that world. So even though I don't want to live in it, I'm still interested in impacting it. And right now it's June 6th. So I have been actually doing this not quite a year, but I feel like it's the best thing I've ever done. Every morning I wake up, I feel good about waking up. I feel about good about tackling the world. And I'm not living chasing the rat race anymore. I'm out living, exploring, and living within the world. So I meet different people on a constant basis, uh, especially because I'm doing a ride share as part of my income. So I meet a lot of different people throughout the day. So my relationships with people have improved. I just feel like I'm living more now than I've ever had in my life. A lot of people think about it and they look at the novelty of it and the, the fan base of it and they do it because based on that. So I see a lot of people are building out their vans or build, you know, or building uh, their SUV in order for them to sleep in it and have a kitchen and so on. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to be able to have it be my mobile bedroom because I'm not going to stay in it. It's not, I'm not going to stay in within my vehicle and I don't. I go out and I explore the world, whether that's getting out of the vehicle and going to a park or going to an, uh, a, an isolated area because of the scenery or just uh, enjoying life itself. It uh, gets me to meet people. It also gets me to live and feel like that I'm fulfilled within my life. So uh, I'm seeing a lot of glorious things as far as the images, as far as different parts of the world, but I'm also seeing the glorious images of people. And I think that's the most important because I'm connecting with people at the same time. I feel like since I've moved into my vehicle, I feel like I am out of the world and looking at the world. And then when I go into cities, then I go into the world, but then I can come out of the world. So I'm more of a spectator than I am participant so I created myself not to be so much of a participant but there's some things I do have to participate in obviously I you know the food I got to buy my food I got to get the water from some source uh, I use planet fitness so that's the world so I come into the world to do my shower and stuff like that but then I can come out of it so a lot of times I'm looking here and it's almost like looking through uh, I'm on a TV screen and watching the world, how they operate, and I'm separate from that. So, in some cases, I feel like when Jesus said something, be in the world, but not of it, I think I've obtained that. And I, I really feel really fulfilled because I've done that. I feel at peace every day I wake up. I feel good. I I, I feel th good about myself. I good good about the life I'm leading. I enjoy teaching people how to make additional income by doing uh, not necessarily they don't have to live in their vehicle but they can make additional income from their home uh, using their car. So taking a, a liability which would be a car payment and turning it into an asset I can show you how to do that. Now you get to you start asking yourself okay what's this all about? 
what it's all about is having a platform of apps that produce income streams and then to take each one and manage them to the fact where I can find out what's the most profitable one that I can work with uh, and so those are the ones I do now ride local platform gives you 100% of the fares gives you 100% of the tips and the delivery fees and what's the catch of it is right now we're offering a special where there's no licensing fee whatsoever we we're wavering all the licensing fees for a new driver sign up that means uh you you get the driver uh, background check or you get you get uh, the stencil that goes into your window of ride local so we give you a starter package to get you to start driving the whole premise of it we're we're the only ones that really that you can go up to our car and download the qr code and then take a ride immediately. You don't necessarily have to have our app to take a ride. So sometimes we're sitting and we have uh, we have like streaming lights that tell people you need a ride, need delivery. And at that time, you know, we position ourselves in position in areas where people are looking for rides. That's how we gain our ridership. So as a business owner, being a driver, I'm looking for quality riders. But I'm also looking for somebody that uh, needs a personal driver, needs somebody that not only wants to shop for them or deliver food to them, but also wants to take a ride. But if you like what you see in this video, and you're looking to not only reduce your debt, but you're also looking to increase your income, I ask that you subscribe below and hit the notification bell, and that way I'll notify you every time a video comes out. Thank you.